Hey, this is Chad Perkins from MoviesAndComputers.com. This is part two in our little mini-series on how to create a rigged arm in After Effects, similar to the intro of the Movies and Computers tutorials, which you see here. This hand comes in and picks up this camera. So in the last tutorial, we actually made this arm out of shape layers. And now we're going to talk about parenting. Now, another thing we did in the last movie that was very important, I recommend you checking out if you haven't already, is we got the anchor point in the right spot, which is important for parenting. This video is intended for those that are new to the concept of parenting. If you already know about parenting, skip this, go to the next movie on using expression controllers. Basically, parenting allows you to control multiple layers with just one layer. And the parenting relationship controls four attributes and four attributes only. And that is scale, position, rotation, and anchor points. Now, the way this works is we have these uh, shapes here, a bunch of different random shapes. And all they are and all After Effects sees them as are just rectangles and triangles. And that's it. But we want to use this as an arm. So when I move this upper arm, we want the rest of the arm to follow suit. Now we don't want the same power going the other direction. So if I were to move this thumb, for example, we don't want the whole arm moving, just the thumb. So we'd want this little thumb here to be what they call a child of this part of the thumb. So that when this part of the thumb moves, this part of the thumb moves as well, but this part of the thumb can move independently. So this will be a child of this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the child layer. You always start with a child layer and then I'm going to make sure the parent column is showing here in the timeline panel. If it's not, you can right click, go to columns and then choose parent. I believe you could also choose shift F4 and that will hide that and make it reappear. So I'm going to select the thumb two layer and I'm going to drag the pick whip for the parent to thumb one. And now when I select thumb one, hit R for rotation, and I rotate this around, you could see that thumb two is going along for the ride, and we have this cool little working thumb here. Now I could also go to thumb two and hit rotation, and you'll see that thumb two rotates independently still. So the way that the parent-child relationship works is that the child could still have its autonomy, it could do whatever it wants to do, but as soon as the parent does something in one of those four attributes, position, anchor point, rotation, and scale, then the child has to follow suit. So what we want to do is make um, this thumb one, is what I'm calling this layer, and actually all of the ones, so I could actually sh shift click these if I want to, um, so all of these ones here. And uh, I could use the pick whip again if I want to, or I could just use the drop down if I so choose. And with all of these layers selected, I could just choose palm because I want the palm to be the parent of all of the ones. And actually, I should have chosen thumb one. I can use the pick whip and drag it to palm here. So I select palm, hit rotation. And now when I rotate the palm, all of those ones go along for the ride as well. So you're starting to see the, the beginnings of a hand here. Now I want pinky two to be uh, parented to pinky one and ring two to be the child of ring one, middle two to go to middle one and index two to go to uh, index one. And finally, what we need to do is we need to parent uh, the palm. This needs to be the child of the forearm and the forearm needs to be the child of the upper arm. And now we have the upper arm being the great grandpa, as it were, for all of these layers, and uh, so on and so forth down the road. So now if we go to upper, upper arm, we hit R to reveal the rotation property. And adjust this, you can see the whole arm going along for the ride, but then if we just go to the forearm, hit R for rotation, and rotate just that, then you could see that the upper arm doesn't move, but everything below in the hierarchy uh, does. So that's all we need to do as far as parenting goes for this little arm rigging. In the next movie, we're going to look at the world of expression controllers. Now, if you're new to the world of expressions, or even if you're familiar with expressions, you should know the expression controllers are very easy to use. You don't have to know any math or any kind of programming or anything like that to make them work. But it's going to allow us to open and close this hand with just uh, the touch of a slider. So it's a very handy thing to know. So check this out. And again, if you want to purchase this entire project with all the steps included, including the final step, it's only $2 on our website. That's moviesandcomputers.com. So, uh, you know, follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all that jazz. And we'll see you in the next movie. Thanks for watching. <laughs>